And then, like I said, you know, Taylor Mays, there's not a lot of abilities on defense. He's going to have secure tackler. He's going to be able to wrap up. That's, a, that's about all you're going to see out of his defense as far as abilities. And on offense, as everyone knows, he's going to have the West Coast playbook and that bunch. And on defense, it's kind of a day one defense. It's going to be in the Green Bay Packers. What do you think about the gamer wear? Kind of coffee house chic is how I would, I would describe it here for the, uh, the always well quaffed <laughs> young Kiv. Yeah, it, well, if you don't know anything about Kiv, and I'm sure you, you do, he is going to have some kind of fashion that's going to have you talking about it after the tournament. And obviously you see him swagging out that belt in the background. He's been looking for number two. And I'll be honest, on my quest of winning these belts, I always thought Kiv was actually going to be ahead of me. And I honestly have gone, I've come to a point where I do root for him. Wow, this guy is getting pretty close to you, too. And this one whistles in complete looking for Ross on the cross. Well, as you see, he brought the blitz. He's going to blitz all game, guys. He's not going to drop in coverage often. He, and, and right off the bat, Kiff stayed in that pocket. I'm curious to see if he's going to stay in that pocket all game or try to make plays with that escape artist. We'll watch and see if that perfect hair gets out of place. Because of that kind of thing all day long, the Blitzmonger, that's Mills. And if he's going to mess up the game and mess up the hair of young Kiv, it's going to be that Blitz all afternoon. It's no secret. You knew this was coming. You knew he was going to Blitz. But this late in the year with this defense having 95, 99 speeds, this, this Blitz is coming in faster than you've seen it all year. Third and 17 right away for Kiv. All the money that was spent, all the cap spent on defense, it's paying off early here, forcing a fourth down. And about five here, so we'll call it fourth and six. Well, <clears throat> if I'm Kiv, I'm punting here. This is the first possession of the game. Jay Mills is a runner. You don't know how good his offense is. He's just going to hand the ball off. So does Kiv have good? If Kiv has great run defense, I'm punting the ball here. The last thing you ever want to do in Madden versus a runner is give him good field position. I 100% expect a punt. Mills definitely would be punting. He's not a guy that takes chances. And Kiv is indeed punning it away to a guy who works in the insurance industry. Mills from State Farm. That is his day job. And here's Deion Sanders. He'll get a him, Dan. But Mills gets the ball here. And he's got to be feeling pretty good here, right? Because that's a three and out right away against one of the great offensive minds in Madden. He feels as expected. If you didn't know, when he won the Houston Club Series, he took out Kiv's lap partner, Joe Wright. And it was a great game, pretty high scoring, but it was the same style. Mills is going to blitz, blitz, blitz. Take it from me. I have played him about, and he'll tell you, about 100 times on the PS4 ladders. It's just when he doesn't get in, he'll send more pressure. He might send 10 people on defense sometimes. You know, normally Mills plays as the Texans. He beat Wesley 38-35, in fact, in the Texans club final. But this is subtle. He's decided to roll out there with the 49ers. If he's going to take on Kiv, who's always Seattle, why not get inside his head and say, look at me, I'm the 49ers for you today. And there's Mostert, the 49er, trying to turn the corner. Down he goes. So... If you're at home, I'm going to say again, he's not going to pass the ball. He's going to run. If you like running, then get ready. But what you're going to see is he's going to go through a bunch of formations in all, on offense to try to find a run that looks looks like it's going to have a good chance of making a big play. So right now he had a stretch for about six yards. Look for him to audible for more stuff. And to your point, Skimbo, there's not an accomplished receiver in this group. Delaney Walker is a tight end. It's probably the best pair of hands he's got. Mostert gets banged down. Linval Joseph just smoked him there. So now a third and four. Great job by Kiv. Watch at home on those dive plays. Kiv wasn't, didn't wait back for the last line defense. He shot the gap and blew it up in the backfield. But also notice, Jay Mills is one of the few guys that still has that jukebox on Mostert. So when something like that happens, he's going to flick that right stick to make sure he tries to give himself a chance to really get out of there. Mills always a good runner, fantastic at clock management too. We mentioned how he's in the, the insurance business for real. And he says that's a help. But when you come to managing a game, you're managing portfolios and things like that, that's my day job. Most dirt is dragged down in the backfield. <laughs> um. Jay Mills is going to punt right here, guys. I'm letting you know, this is just a fill-out. They're just filling each other out right now. Uh, Kiv, you know, he, 
I don't, I, I don't know if he showed everything. He's only had three plays and he got sacked. And Jay Mills is going to get right back on defense. He's, he'll, he'll always punt in this position. He'll never go for it because he doesn't think he'll get it a first down on a fourth and nine on just a run play. And again, just to reset, if you're not familiar with the players, the way Mills is loaded up, he's looking to win this game something like 10 to 9. He has spent 68% of his cap <laughs> on defense. He spent his money with a purpose. He wants that lockdown defense, and he has no receivers. You know, Josh, I feel like you're generous. I think you said 9 to something. I think it's more like 3 to 0. Yeah, I think that's what he wants. <laughs> well, an exchange of punts is what we're looking at today. And a slow start, but I guess that would favor Mills, right? I mean, you don't want to get into an air show with young Kip. You don't. It, it, so far, Mills has won the battle, even though we're right back on serve. But that was a terrible punt. He could have pinned him inside the 10, and, and Kip gets the ball in 25. This is great for Kip. RG3 on the move. He gets dragged down from behind. Jerome Baker went and found him. Kiv's already getting a little anxious. He had a wide open guy on the left side, but when you send blitzes like this, and I know this from experience, you just want to roll out and try to get out of there. If he would have stayed in the pocket, he has that gunslinger ability. He'll be able to get the ball out on time. Griffin with that escape artist designation. Here's more heat gets it away, and Winslow makes a man miss in the open field. He went right through Deion Sanders, and that is the first first down of the game. I love it. It's something I was preaching yesterday. He got it was he just stood in. He got his tight end involved really quick. You know, when you blitz everyone, you only got one guy out there to make that tackle. And if he misses, that's it's going to be a big play like you just saw. That goes old school for announcers criticizing Deion Sanders for not being able to tackle on a big play. No score late first quarter. And RG3 on the move. RG3 dragged down, just could not turn that corner, and that's technically a sack, although it's really just no gain, and that defensive Mills is going to have to tell the tale. Right, great defense. Let's see what kind of rhythm Kibbs in. He just went to max protect, only sent out two routes. Let's see if he goes back to sending out five, or he'll stay in it right here. Got that gun bunch left. Watch for Joshua Cribbs. He's the man in motion now. He'll actually stay in the block. RG3, unable to get rid of it, and Mills stands tall one more time. I promise you, Kiv's very upset. I know we're about to have the end of the first quarter, but Kiv, he knows he's going to get pressure. He knows the heat's coming. He's probably laughed for this for the last week or two, and I know how Kiv is because he's so good on offense. He's really disappointed on how his first two drives have gone. Yeah, Kiv's got... All those abilities loaded on John Ross. He's got the, the RG3 with Escape Artist. Got that sideline dead eye. Haven't been able to use that yet because it's been all defense here from Mills. And a third and 15 as we begin quarter number two. No score in the first of six games at Pizza Hut Stadium today. Great to have you with us. And hope you're making plans to stay with us for C and D tomorrow and Saturday. Timeout taken. Uh, just going off the play art I saw, it's one of my favorite plays. Look for Kip to just to do a rollout corner route with a backside in route. And this is something that's really good. If he can get outside to the left, he's going to be in good in, in business. But Jay Mills know that, and watch for a user rush by Reed if it does happen. He's tried to roll out with RG3 quite a bit. Chose RG3 because he likes to roll right. Michael Vick goes left, of course. The throw is left, and it's picked. It's Denzel Ward, and Denzel Ward to midfield. Denzel Ward dashing to the 35, and Mills is in business. That's just, uh, I mean, honestly, it wasn't an awful read, but in this game, if you stay in the pocket and you get pressure in your face, this is the matter where it'll say pressure and accurate, and sometimes they will throw the ball five yards away from your wide receiver. It's so unfortunate when it happens, but if you're a defensive player, you are loving it. Mostert gets tripped up trying to get right, and it's Denzel Ward with the first takeaway. Remember what young Kiv was telling the guys before we came on the air, Skimbo? If he can make sure there's no turnovers, he all but guarantees he's going to win. But there's a turnover all but right away. Yeah, I know he said that, but that's what we all say. I mean, that's no secret. Obviously, if you don't turn the ball over, you know, you're probably going to win the game. I mean, that's just something we all wish never happens. But for the most part, how bad in 20 is this year, if you're a passer versus this, this kind of defense, you're going to make a turnover. 
Mostert again gets decked in the backfield. We give all that love to Mills' defense, and here's Young Kim able to get in there and make something happen too. Oh, Kim is great. If you're watching at home, watch his user. His user is blowing up all these runs. This Taylor Mays at the middle right here. You see him wiggling around. He is making every play. If I'm Mills, I'm probably calling dive so I don't get out of field goal range. It is Mostert, and your point on Mays is so well taken. Kim says that's now my favorite player in the game. Height, speed, if you get Frankenstein, the perfect Madden player, that's it. He's tall, he hits, always does the user against the run. The field goal attempt of 53 yards, and we finally have some scoring, but it's three points instead of seven. I mean, if you're, if you're watching this game right now, the best play for Mills was a pick that he returned for about 30 or 40 yards, whatever it was. He's not moving the ball on offense. But here's the thing, Kiv's not moving the ball on offense either, obviously. So Kiv, I mean, even though you have turned the ball over, had to punt the first time, the first two, your first two drives, you're only down three. You're still, you're still in great position here, Kiv. You just got to put something together. And Kiv, expressionless, still has that look of a guy who knows there's a long way to go. We joke about the 99 lettuce rating, the best hair on the circuit, four years running. The dirty little secret there is his mom is a hairdresser. And what a break in this era that we're in right now of COVID-19. He's got the home haircut. He said his first one since November was six days ago to get ready for this tournament. Oh, wow. I, I, had, no, I, I had no idea that, that, <laughs> that that's what happened. <laughs> you, on the other hand, you took a weed whacker to your head. RG3 goes Let's down go back, back near right the five. Now. Jerome Baker making so plays at three right sacks now. for Baker, courtesy of Mills. Oh, he got uh, the I, I don't Come care on, how man. good you're on offense. You gotta be, you gotta be on your game because in this Madden, I'm telling you right now, I can oh, scream that again. Come on, man. And very close to two points right there. Another Baker takedown. And Mills' is defense. Look at this. Yeah. It's just, it's just unbelievable what he's doing out there. You don't like getting, I don't care how good of a pass you are, if you're getting heat sent at you like this, you're gonna look bad. And Kim's one of the best offensive players of all time. I'm not saying this year, last couple Maddens, I know how Kim's been. He's one of the best map, uh, offense players of all time. He's going to struggle. This is the best matchup, I promise you, for Jay Mills. Well, he gets it out of the shadow of the end zone, but only to his five-yard line. And a guy that is in the Boeing airspace, his dad, Kim's dad, literally works for Boeing aircraft. There is no air game at all for young Kim in this one, and that's because Mills is on point. I, I, I'm going to make this comment real quick because we all obviously see it. I'm going to tell you right now, if you think Sid and Jay Mills messages and stuff's gonna distract him. I'm just gonna give you guys a little background on this guy. He is a ranked Madden goon. You guys that play head-to-head -head ranked regular teams, that's all Jay Mills did for six years straight. So you don't think he's had messages sent to him? If anything, you guys are gonna make him play better by sending him this crap that you're sending him. That's the kind of Madden player he is. He does not care. Lace him up, give me the sticks, and I'm gonna go beat your head in. Yeah, don't take a bat to the beehive with Mills. And again, he's one of the very few Madden pros who's got full-time employment on the side. We, we joke calling him Mills from State Farm. And I told him, if you really wanted to, to punk everybody, he'd come out there with those, those chinos and, and the red polo shirt, just like on the commercial. But he's like, no, no, no. I'm going to be me. I'm going to win this game. And you know what? He's on his way. It's early, but Kib is doing nothing against him. Most are trying Kibbs to wiggle forward. Nothing. There's going to be third and long. I'm telling you, Josh, Kiv's doing nothing, but Jay Mills is doing nothing, too. I mean, Kiv, Kiv is one big play. I know we're gassing up this defense of Mills. One broken, as you see, perfect run defense again. One broken coverage by Jay Mills, and Kiv gets over the top. Kiv's going to win the game. I hate saying that, but, man, his run defense is unbelievable right now. One big play in the game, and it had nothing to do with offense. It was on a pick from Denzel Ward. You mentioned it, Skimbo, a 30-yard return on that. Most every other play we've seen has gone in the wrong direction. It's just, it's just, it's a battle of defense right now. This is what, this is just how runners are this year, you know. If they don't move the ball, I'm going to get out my, my punt because I know my defense is probably going to get a pick. What is Volterax doing in our game right now? It's all about running the ball and great defense. 
Of course, Volt moving on yesterday, Pavin moving on, and Joke yesterday as well. RG3 finding some open space, and he's got the first down. Great, great job by Kiv. Like I said, if there's a broken play and you get a touchdown, that's great. That's going to put him in a really good spot. But just take what's there. You have time. You have time. Get in field goal range and get this tied up going to half at least. Kiv, who says he's as motivated as he's ever been. Thought he could have won the Madden Championship. It didn't happen. He's in trouble. He gets decked. Oh, man, is Mills bringing it. That's the rookie out of Clemson, Isaiah Simmons. It's just... It's just, here's the deal. Kiv is, it, at the first play, he's like, all right, I'm going to stay in the pocket. After his first sack, he's been looking to roll out. He doesn't want to stay in that pocket anymore because this heat is just coming from somewhere all the time, and you just don't know where it's going to come from. But it, it's hitting home. It has been an all-you-can-eat buffet of defense here for Mills. Kiv, one of the great offensive players, and he's stuck in quicksand until maybe now. At least Griffin's able to charge forward and make it a more makeable third down. 49 seconds left in the half. If you don't convert this, Mills gets the ball back and a chance to add to the lead. I I'll tell you who's just smiling right now watching this defense's user. The Mr. Go Get Him himself. He loves this style of defense. Send your whole team. Send your user when they run around the edge. I'm, this defense right here is one of the best defenses versus bunch. Just send everyone. These zones are playing unreal. He has a great team. It's, I mean, this defense is really, really good this year. Just send the heat. Three sacks for Baker already. Simmons has one as well. He's got Julius Peppers out there. He's got Simeon Rice. All kinds of things you can do. Exploded away. Cribs is going to be short of the first down. A timeout taken. Perfect. I mean, Mills, definitely great timeout. You just run the ball. He's not a passer where he can throw a pick. He's going to run the ball about three times. And he's going to try to, like we saw Vault yesterday, he's going to run the ball and try to make a highlight happen and get seven. And a punter with the last name of Anger. That's about right for young Kim. He's got to be frosted right now. And a quick stop down. Mills yeah. has been wired up for us. Boys, he's been wired up for us. Kimbo, hang one second. We want to get you to our Audible at home. We don't like this. Come on. We're going to break the sack record on this boy. We're so scary, man. We might win a belt. We might win a belt, dog. He's so bad right now, dog. He can't do nothing. He can't do nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> oh, he's so bad. Oh, he gave me another one. My State Farm Asian doesn't cap like that. Hey, be sure to look to the Ultimate Team menu, the competitive tab. Check out the new Madden Bowl theme game day program. You can get Madden Pro players as coaches, including Mills and Kip, Henry, Clef, the defending Madden Bowl champion, Dreamy. Also available, the new MCS uniforms and more exclusive Mutt content. Now, speaking of Kiv, and again, he, I mean, he looks the part. He looks like he's totally chill, totally cool, looking like a guy who's been there, done that because of what we're looking at here. 13 EA major appearances. That's two more than my boy Skimbo. Ooh, I mean, I don't know if you really want me to get in on this at all. I mean, what do you want me to say? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This, this is Kim's one of the best. Kim's been one of the best players since the MCS started. This is no surprise to me. I, I, I believe this was happening. I, I knew I was getting caught by these other guys. I mean, it's, it's no secret. I mean, everyone says Madden 20 is so different, but I still see the best players in the world are in this last tournament. You won't bluff me. The best players have adapted to this Madden. And in this B group, 35 combined EA major appearances. All due respect to D group, for example, they got 14. 35 of them in B group, and that's what we're all about today. Now, can he get close enough to kick one here? 13 seconds left. Yeah, I don't like the timeout. He should have spiked. Uh, actually, never mind. I take the bat. I'm not going to sound like Booger. That was a good, <laughs> Booger McFarland. That was actually a good timeout. Um, <laughs> he's just he's just trying to find a run to work because Kim's run defense is un it's just unbelievable. There is not a single run that has really gained more than five or six yards right now. So and Kim, I mean, his run defense is great. Mills just needs to keep audibly for the through these formations and try to find a run that works. 
Dan Deerdorf is a wide receiver. That's how much you're looking to put it in the air if you're Mills. So he'll just give it to Mostert, and with eight seconds left, he's out of bounds. And they'll run it out here, a 3-0 halftime. How about that? And as we discussed coming on the air, if it's a low-scoring game, Skimbo, right? That means Mills is right where he wants his competition here. <clears throat> I mean, Josh, I believe I told you he wanted a 3-0 game. I mean, we're right. We're, we're on pace, I guess. If no one scores, I guess we're on pace for 6-0. But this is everything Mills wants. But, again, if I'm Kiv, I feel good. I have great run defense. If I can just if I can just get one big play, because like I said, when you send everyone, you send everyone on defense, if you make one guy miss, it's a touchdown. We have seen one play, these two players combined on offense for more than six yards. And we're in the third quarter. I mean, there was a 130-yard interception return from Denzel Ward. Other than that, this has been an exercise in just spinning your wheels. Oh, and here we goodness. go again. I, More defense. Oh. Taylor Mays. This, this young kid defense is freaking something special, guys. I haven't seen run defense like this all year. Mostert, can he get outside? No. Even with the user spin, it's going to be third and long. I'm, a, I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, Josh. J. Mills is losing yards on the ground. He'd be better off punting the ball on first down so his punch go a little farther <laughs> because that's how good young kids run defense is. Every play J. Mills calls, he's running backwards. Well, if you're looking for a big play, just stop looking. I mean, you've got Laquan Treadwell, Andre Holmes, Delaney Walker, Lee Smith. That's what you're running out there with as receivers. And a Hall of Fame guard in Dan Deerdorf has been out wide for him about five times. Has Deerdorf in motion <laughs> right now. He'll be thrilled to know that that's how they're using him. Mostert hunted down in the backfield by Marlon Humphrey. I mean, I mean, minus 12 yards running the ball. I mean, the last time I saw that was when User was playing. Uh, um, uh, Nick, I can't remember the guy's name. Every time I watch User play, me, I was with RG and Chow. We just looked up. User's got fourth and twenty, and we're like, "How do you have fourth and twenty? All you do is run the ball." I just kept yeah. getting tackled in the backfield. What do you want me to do? There was a game yesterday where we saw Gale Sayers for joke go for 343 yards on the ground. This is the opposite. 15 carries for negative 12 for Mostert as used by Mills. So, young Kim's run defense phenomenal. Mills has been bringing the heat. That's how his defense has gone. Can anybody get the ball downfield here? If, if I'm Kiv, I want, let me see, I'm at the 45. My goal this drive is get 15 yards and get a field goal. That's my goal this drive, and that's great. Complete a pass right there for about six, seven yards. Perfect. That's your goal. Don't worry about a touchdown at this point in the game. You have the best run defense that I've seen. You, your goal is to get this game tied up. You can't take a sack. Work your butt off to get in field goal range. Quick release from RG3 right there and needed it because Isaiah Simmons was about to get in there for his third sack of this particular ball game. It is a second and three. We're midway through the third quarter, our opening game. First of six today at Pizza Hut Stadium. This group of death, Group B. All kinds of razzle-dazzle on defense. And here is RG3 chucking it out of bounds. Third and three coming up. I, I like the play called there. I know he needs it. I said get, but you got second and three. You can pretty much do anything you want. You can take an underneath the deep shot. Look for something real short right here. There it is. You called it. Oh, and Mills. He's sick. He can't believe he gave that up. Uh, he is sick, but you know what? I mean, it was a, the, his, his defense was in a deep blue, and that's a drag or a slant. If you want a deep blue to play a motion slant, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Even though I've seen it happen, you can't complain that much. In terms of capping, in terms of just moving your mouth, our score is 1,500 to nothing in favor of Mills. But here is RG3 tripped up. Yeah, the ball did come loose, but it went out of bounds. I'm just fascinated watching how young Kiv, I mean, there's not a hair out of place. He never makes a peep, but he's on a methodical drive right here, Skimbo, when he needs it. Yeah, he is. He had a great field position. It's just like I said, the last thing you can do if you're a kid with this run defense, you cannot, you cannot take a sack. You just can't 
take a sack and get out of field goal range. I wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing five routes every time just make a hot read because, like I said, you can't have an intentional grounding. You cannot get out of field goal range. You got your Holt, you got your Cribs, you got your Ross, who's loaded with abilities. John Ross, the guy that runs a 4-2-40 anyway. And Cribs had to turn as it was about to hit him in the hip, but he just got it out of bounds. They're at the 32-yard line field goal range. Real interesting play call for Kim. I'm trying to get in a, into the sequence. He sent out five routes, I believe, the last two times. It, or no, but I, I just trying to get in a feel for how he plays. If he's going to go back to max protect, I really feel like he just needs to send out five routes again here. You just you just can't take a sack. Remember, already one pick early on took him out of field goal range. You can't take a sack here. You can't. You can't. He does. Oh, Mills creamed him. Uh, it's just that's just. I, you, if you could hear Kiv and I could hear him, what am I doing? And J Mills cap, and here he is calling him stupid. It is. You have the best run defense. You have points. You just can't take that sack. It's third and two. You you just make those hot reads you've made every time you've had a good play. You've sent out five. Kiv's a better Madden player than this, but I have to give credit to Mills. Look at him. He's psyched. He's happy. But this game this game is not even close to being over. That was a 26-yard sack, partner, on a third and two. And Mills, we've talked about it, how, you know, it's not like he's some Johnny come lately. He got one of the last at-large bids to the field. He was tied for 12th in the point standings. He's always kind of circling the perimeter. He's always close, but he doesn't have that belt yet. This would be a heck of a start to this very competitive B group if he can take down Kiv. And as we get towards the fourth quarter, He's got to get out from his own shadow of the end zone now. He's had a seven. They'll take it down to zeros here. Wow. The defense standing tall both ways. Three nothing. That's it. At the end of three quarters. What a fascinating first game we've got. Uh, Kim's still in a great position. Um, he, Jay Mills is over here saying he thinks he sees something. I don't see nothing. I see that if you made it back to the line of scrimmage, that's a good offensive play for you right now, Jay Mills, because your defense is just that good. But great job. I know Kiv, he punted the ball. He's in a good, good field position right here if he gets a, if another stop. If your Kiv is upset as you are with yourself, you're in a great spot to win this game still. A defensive tour de force. Here we are in the fourth quarter, Skimbo. 14 total yards in this game of offense. Actually, check that, 15 now of total offense. It's minus 11 to 26 for a net of plus 15. Needing nine, Mostert back to the inside and a wiggle at least to the 12 or 13. Here we go, it's just, I mean, I don't know who you're rooting for in the chat. But this is it. If you're rooting for Kiv, you're just saying, man, you're only down three. Just put one drive together. You're one of the best offensive players. But I have to say, Jay Mills, if you have kept up with Madden 20, Madden 19, Madden 18, he was the originator of this bandana. He rocked it in Madden 17. This guy's been at live events. And if you know anything about him, he is unbelievable on defense. He loves being on defense. That's why it was so funny when he beat Wesley in the Texans club final. That one was 38-35, and it's like, wait, what? This is now what we've come to expect out of Mills, and you called the score. You, you laughed at me for saying it could be 10-9. You thought that was high. You said it's going to be 3-0 if Mills wins. It's 3-0 with 3.51 to go. That's it's right, but Kibbs got great fill. He's in great range. All you need is 15 yards once again. But Baker and Simmons have been coming hot. Taylor Mays at the disposal of Mills as well. And again, that's such a great Madden card to have. More heat, and again, RG3 takes a seat. There is Taylor Mays. Uh, guys, it, it's just, this is, I, I called it from the beginning. I actually really like Jay Mills in this game. Even, even though Kip still has a chance, I, this, I really, when I told you 3-0, I absolutely meant if Jay Mills won this game, it was going to be 3-0. Here's Mills with Ed Reed on his team. We haven't even called his name. Oh, there's a little bit of something for Torrey Holt. Needed to thread the needle. Young Kiv threaded the needle to bring up third and two. Okay, so I believe he's at the 43-yard line. So it doesn't matter. He needs to get five yards anyways to be to get 
field goal range. So he just, I just really do believe his best route, and I, and I hate doing this as a meta player, is just send out five and make a hot read. But man, Jay Mills have one, has one of the best lurks in the game. Basically two chances to get your three yards, because don't take the sack! And there it is again! This man, Jay Mills, is freaking a gambler. Like Look on the left he side later, clip like it, this. chat. That's he didn't have a deep blue, and he's thrown over the top on the left side. He put him in a hard flat to take away that tight end route. He left a touchdown. He left a streak, and he just gambled, and that is so far is the biggest play of the game. Got to get it to the 41 to get the first down. Kim facing fourth and nine. Here's the heat. RG3 goes down. I, the, guys, it's the same story all game. Kim, all he can do is shake it off. J. Mills has filled himself. This is it. This defense has been great all Madden. J. Mills has perfected this defense all Madden. And when you give this guy 95 to 99 speed defensive players, this defense is about to get unreal. Double digit sack day for Mills. And now, two minute warning still. Three timeouts still for Kim. That's what's in his favor. But really, we're about one first down away from Mills going one and out. I have to ask you, Josh, how many first downs does Jay Mills even have this game? I, I think he's got one. And, and I'd have to scramble it to, to try and look that up here. I mean, you know, he doesn't have a touchdown. He's got a, he's got a three nothing lead. I honestly don't know if he even has a first down. So I, unless something fluky happens from what we've seen, Kiv is going to have another shot with this. The main thing is just don't get tackled out of field goal range if you're Jay Mills. Absolutely. How would you like to be Mills' neighbor right now? All the screaming that's going on. Mostert will bash his way forward. Little forward lean there. Remember, he's got jukebox on Mostert. Here's a third and seven, and Kiv has got to use one of those timeouts. You're going to see another dive here. He's not going to call stretch. Well, he could call stretch because he's still in field goal range if he gets tackled right away. But I just feel he's going to be really safe and just run, just hand the ball right up the middle. Don't lose a lot of yards. 20 total yards. That's it so far. Mostert pulling his way right to the stripe. And you heard him on fourth and inches. Mills is going to go for the kill shot right now. I I, 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 don't, I don't agree with it. I think he should kick. I honestly think he should kick. I think the best chance you have is giving Kim uh, the ball with only trying to get three. I mean, uh, he wants to end it. I mean, this is what I talk about. I tried the same thing. He wants to end it right here. He is going for the kill shot. Got a really good O-line. He's got Staley and Upshaw, Mack, Shields, Lane Johnson. Who will get the ball on fourth and inches to put away Kim? I, I'm just looking at Jay Mills as he doesn't have his hand on the controller. I don't know what's going through his head. He's probably really thinking about what to do right here. This is this is a huge call. This is huge. End the game or give Kiv another chance. Timeout just to take a breath. Man, stifling defense. And here at Pizza Hut Stadium, this is some kind of a fourth quarter. Here is the field goal team coming on. 42-yard attempt, and you figure a layup for Zane Gonzalez. And he blasts it through. And it's 6 nothing now, so yeah, you, you need the touchdown if you're Kim. Yeah, and I'm going to just say it. If you've been keeping up a competitive Madden, and if you chose in any other Madden to give Kim a chance with the quaff, a bread drive, you would say, you're out of your mind. I'm going for it on fourth and inches, and I want to put Kiv away. I would never, Whoa. never, ever give Kiv the ball with a chance to beat me. I, and my, me personally, would never happen. But if, if you've been watching this game, keep it up. Jay Mills' defense has been unbelievable. It's no shock, but it's just crazy. If you've been keeping up with Madden, you, you don't really ever hear this. Kiv needs 80 yards. And he's got 146 and one timeout when he's gotten 10 yards today. That's been a story. He needs 80 of them right now. And he floats it to Torrey Holt. That's the best play offensively he's found all game. This is a great play. He's probably going to look to pick it up and go no huddle. More heat. Another sack. 
And out of timeouts is Kiv now. 1.15 to go. He needs 57 yards. Good timeout. I'll say this about Kiv. It's like Michael Jordan, LeBron James. They might be 0 for 10 going to fourth quarter, but you know they have that. They can turn it on at any time. Kiv's one of those players. He's been looking awful, but at any second, this guy can turn it on and drop seven on your head real quick. There's that possibility. There's a possibility of sack number 12 today for Mills. Wow. So which way does it go wow. with 115 left? Ross out wide to the left side. RG3 on the run. Oh, and almost a David Tyree catch off the back of a helmet there for Torrey Holt. It's third and 17. Uh, it's just Kiv, he, he's running. Like I said, in this Madden, you're on chance he has no timeout. Jay Mills is just going to keep trying to send the heat. He's not going to drop in coverage. A lot of people might drop in coverage and try to keep you underneath or in bounds. No, this guy's going to send everyone he has on his team. Two shots to get 17 yards and keep this game alive for young Kim. RG3 feeling the heat. Down he goes. Doesn't matter. Come out. <laughs> this this dude Jay Mills is crazy. He's dancing. He's swagging. That's that's just awful. He called a timeout because he was getting no huddle. I, I'm just I can't believe this dude Jay Mills just does not care. <laughs> it's just funny, Josh, because the reason why he called timeout is literally because he was dancing. He didn't even care that kid was going no huddle. Fourth and 28, and it's miracle time for young Kim. But it looks like Mills has turned himself into the human personification of the murder hornet before our very eyes here this afternoon. The defense has just clobbered young Kim, and this is it. He completes oh it, but he doesn't really quite get enough. I really oh. can't see me. My really gosh, if me. he would have went on, if he would have went by him really and missed that me. play on the ball and Come not on, tackled him, that would have been a touchdown for Kiv. Kiv, a guy who's used to getting point totals in the 20s, if not the 30s, occasionally the 40s, is looking at a bagel here. He's got a big round zero with 46 seconds left in this one. No timeouts left. And Mills, go ahead and dance, buddy. This is something. The defense. And now one more handoff to Mostert. And we can pretty much call this one here. Uh, you know, I was wondering about these abilities for Kiv. You know, he had this sideline dead. I didn't see a lot of it. He didn't have dashing, but he really didn't throw on the run, and it wasn't inaccurate. But I, I just want to say something back in the booth when they get back. User, before you start talking and what matchups you like the most, you need to give me a text, man, because I can honestly tell you, it doesn't matter how good you are at passing. This defense this year is super Super annoying to go against. <laughs> well, young Kiv, third all-time on the money list. The guy that's been able to raise the belt above his head. Mills just shrugs all that off and says, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take you down. My defense is going to take you down. <laughs> and I'll take it to one second left for a final fist pump here. Great, great win by Mills, you know. Uh, yeah. This 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 group stage is far from over though. Don't let's like the other day. Volt almost got left out. I, I was really heavy on him, but everyone just needs to take a deep breath. But great win by Mills.